Hi Pat and Declan, thanks so much for speaking me, to me today about uh, your new film, The Flag. Tell me, what was the primary factor that drew each of you into this project? Well, I suppose uh, I'll go first. <laughs> <laughs> You've for a change. You've taken a change. I know, it's just to make... Uh, <laughs> no, I suppose we, we, the story was a great story and um, uh, the great, just a, a great script, which sounds like the cliche thing to say, but it was, it's great, uh, great energy in it, great characters in it, and a, a great journey to go back and get the flag and bring it back to, to uh, Ireland in time for the commemoration. So it was, it was a, the action and humour in it, which, which, which I, I was excited about working on. Yeah, I, mean, I, I think the same. Uh, it's not often you get a chance to do a film with a lot of action and mm. um, chases and Pat running naked. Uh, around London, around London and, 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 you know, it's uh, so it's just to do stuff like that was good. Yeah, you knew it was going to be good fun, <laughs> and hopefully it's true, the you audience know, would enjoy. Yeah, it. You, you, don't, you actually don't often get to make yeah. films like this, and they don't get made a lot in Ireland because it, they, they just need a big budget, you know, um, to which do, we didn't have. which we didn't have. <laughs> <laughs> so we managed to do it anyway. But it, it's true when you start doing loads of stunts, it, it just gets you know. So people tend to shy away a bit from it. And it's great to see an Irish film released in conjunction with the centenary, of course. And a lot of the film is about having those Irish roots. Um, to each of you, what does it mean to be Irish personally? Uh, God. Characteristics <laughs> that you need to be Irish. <laughs> I suppose we, like, you know, I grew up Irish. <laughs> and I don't know anything different. Uh, you know, it's, what does it mean to be Irish? Um, I suppose I suppose the characters the, the crack comes out of it this the 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 kind of uh, I, I suppose the character the, that Irishness uh, that Harry has and Mo and the gang of them, when you you mm. oft, you, you don't often see it until you are up against the the English characters in the mm. film and you see that kind of wild streak in it which we Irish tend to have and uh, that's what it's like being Irish that kind of bit of madness that mad that what I often call the acceptable level of madness in us. <laughs> yeah, the sort of, sort of madness where you think it, it, you, might, you might get away with breaking into an English an British Army yeah. and, and, and not get locked and up. actually we believe this. And that's, yeah, yeah that all sit could, around yeah. with, with the help of a few pints and say, yeah, yeah we can, we can actually we can do, we can do that. Yeah. <laughs> Another thing that struck me about the film was you've got quite a few of the love-hate alums in there. You have Brian Gleeson, Ruth Bradley, mm -hmm. uh, Peter Campion. Was there any kind of reminiscing about the old series on set? Or? We wouldn't let him talk about it. <laughs> <laughs> there was a jar they had to put money in. <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean, they're obviously the, the, um, they're Johnny all good. Yeah, yeah, and they're good yeah, buddies yeah. from, I think, from the, that show as well. So, yeah. Um, yeah um, no, I didn't hear much talk I about it. I didn't hear much talk about it either. <laughs> I didn't like it either. <laughs> and speaking of TV series, Pat, I hope you don't mind. I just wanted to briefly uh, congratulate you on Small Town as well, because I saw it on TV3 last month, and it was really an extraordinary series. What's it like getting into the mind frame of such a vastly different character to the flag, who's, you know, someone who's very kind of emotionally repressed and losing someone very, very dear to them? Well, it's a, it's a very different project to the flag in the sense mm. uh, that it's, it's uh, much more, more serious. Um, yeah, it was a, it was it was um, it was it was a different way of shooting as well. We shot in two camera, um, which meant uh, the way nature of it, the scenes kind of played out, as opposed to kind of cutting and in and out a lot. So there was times when you were playing scenes, such as the scene around the, the coffin and uh, those those scenes which were very emotive, uh, that it actually almost felt real. Um, because there was no cutting going on and everything else, and some one or two. I think once we finished them, that was it. We move on to the next scene, you know. Um, so yeah, it was it was a challenge. There's no question of it. And, and uh, you, you, with all these roles, you, you got to get into the character and get into the mindset of it. And um, it, it's it's heavy. Then you do the flag, <laughs> which you know, and, uh, you know, it, it, which is great because the sense of madness, uh, you know, and the energy. And Declan was great with us on set, trying to keep the energy up um, all the time, um, because comedy uh, different. You know, you it's it's funny that they, they do affect actors different ways. You know, I mean, when you're doing a dark thing like that, um, it it can affect. I remember one actor I worked with. I won't mention any names, but but there was a, a film I worked with where everybody hated him uh, in the film. You know, you know, but as a result, people, you know, it got quite heavy for him. <laughs> 
he, he, brought he was in a bad him. place exactly <laughs> after a month or two of people coming in constantly. You know, so it, it, it you know you have to be able to switch on and off, and then as I say, you do uh, the uh, something like the flag, the high octane energy. It's it then it's all about. Um, being almost fit for it, you know yeah. what I mean, and being up for it, and, and trying to keep yeah. that level of energy up there for each scene, and 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 punch it out and keep the humour in it. It's something that struck me actually about both of your careers that you've veered between comedy and drama quite a lot. Mm. Is this something you've both tried to consciously do, or did it just end up happening that way? Um, I know I have. I, it's a long time since I've done anything purely comic, um, and. I have to say, it's a hell of a lot harder than doing the straight drama. Um, I mean, comedy is hard. Isn't it's it? finding the tone yeah, is hard. You, really you can push it too too high and, and, and sometimes underplay it too much. It's, mm. it's trying to find that balance and, and, and consistency of, of comedy, which is, yeah, you're yeah, right. It's tough. Yeah. It Whereas tough. with drama, you can have an idea of mm. what's working, what's not working. And, mm. um, and then with comedy as well, you don't really know, because you've heard it so many times, you've read it so many times, is it funny is it anymore? Funny? <laughs> um, and then you bring it to the editor and hopefully he's, he's still yeah, laughing. Yeah. But then eventually he stops laughing. Yeah. And then you're like, maybe it was never funny, was it? <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's a funny, it, it is a funny thing, uh, excuse the pun, but I remember working with, on, on a comedy before and um, with serious actors. And because I had done a lot of comedy, they used to turn to me and say, is that funny? Am I funny? And they were kind of insecure in that sense, uh, you know. And that's why they say comedy is one of the hardest things to do. It's not that it's harder than drama. Drama, is, I can tell you, is very hard as well. Uh, it's just that you need to have that confidence that if it made you laugh the first time, it will make you laugh mm. again. And it will make somebody laugh. <laughs> Thanks so much for speaking with me, you guys. And just the last question uh, before we leave it there. One just for the fun. Um, what are each of your three or four favourite films ever? They don't have to be Irish, just any films that have inspired you over the years. Uh, okay, I'll try out some films. Uh, Whitney and I would, mm -hmm. uh, and I had the pleasure of working with Richard E. Grant in a film there a couple of years ago, so that was uh, great. Uh, the Big Night, which is another film I really love, Isabella Rossellini, and and because uh, I like cooking, <laughs> so I love eating. I love watching that with a big bowl of pasta. And the third one, I mean Jaws, classic, mm -hmm. classic yeah. film. You know. Yeah, I'll agree with you on Jaws. So. Yeah. <laughs> um, Gregory's Girl, Bill Forsyth's film, which I think is fantastic. And um, a little scene film that David Byrne made called True Stories, which I think is fantastic as well. Brilliant. Yeah, Great choices. Thank you guys so much. Thank Thanks. you.